All right, today, normally I ride my bike here, but we're gonna walk it so we can make a trail. We're at the Santos bike trail, and uh, let's just get going. This is what it looks like when you enter into the bike trail. And uh, we're gonna head towards the Vortex. So if you're not familiar, the Vortex is a, it's a playground for bikes. I mean, I tell you, I wish I was a young man. I, that'd be a lot of fun. But uh, actually, uh, we're gonna head towards uh, this way. Excuse me. We're gonna do the Pine Tree East Trail because I've already done the trail to the Vortex. So I figured I'd, I'm gonna vary it up. I do something I've already done before. Uh, pretty sure I've hiked this before too. This will actually turn into a, uh, there's a blue trail. And I, I remember the first time I came back here, I tried to ride my bike and I didn't understand, you know, which, which was blue and which was green. <laughs> we'll hike the blue trail if, if, I'm, if I'm familiar. And uh, cause there's no way I could ever ride it. Uh, I mean, I got on that trail, I about killed myself. That was before I broke my neck. And, uh, and I was in good shape, uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I don't know how the other bikers, or the really advanced bikers do trails. Like, uh, hopefully we're gonna see, we'll see if we head, head, to, head up to the blue trail. We'll get the clip when we get there. Well, we're still on the Pine Tree Glean Trail, but I just thought I'd show you what it's looking like. I mean, you can understand why people love mountain biking this. I mean, this is, this is just fun. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful too. The thing I like about hiking these, which you're not supposed to do, is that, uh, you know, you get to see all the scenery. You know, when you're on, when I'm on a bike, I am really, you know, looking at what's coming up in front of me. You know, you're, you're, you're traveling pretty fast. You're, you're hitting all these roots and bumps and, you know, you're making all these turns. You know, whereas when you hike it, you get really get to enjoy the scenery and, uh, and that's why I'm, I'm doing this today, plus I wanted to make a video. So I don't know if you can see the sun reflecting off of these spider webs. I'm glad that they're beside the trail. Here's one right here. And then you got another one right up there. A lot of spiders and a lot of squirrels here today, which is pretty cool. Uh, on this trail, that is. So it's teeming with life here. I'm just glad I didn't get a face full of spiders. That's all I'm glad about. I was beginning to think my memory wasn't uh, wasn't good. So you can see the pine tree uh, green trail goes off to the left. And this is what I did on that day. I almost killed myself. I did, took this uh, path right here, the blue trail. Dr. Dr. Ruth. <laughs> I, wonder what, I wonder who Dr. Ruth is. Uh, maybe you need a doctor after you're done with this trail. I, I know I did, almost did. Because I ended up hiking the bike. You can see these rocks here. You know, when you're hitting those, it's uh, it gets kind of crazy. The only thing about hiking the uh, the blue trail here <laughs> that I didn't think about, I mean, there can't be too many bike riders that can do this trail. So I would imagine there might be some uh, some spiders uh, on the trail today because uh, you know the people haven't ridden through here and knocked them down. Although you can see some bicycle tracks here, so I. Uh, it hasn't rained for a couple of days, so somebody's been on here not too long ago. But you see what I mean? I mean, this is this is some rough turns, and then you come into this right here, and uh, wait till you see the rocks, man. I'm trying to, because I actually made it this far, and uh, but wait, I, I will get the rocks on the next clip. See, now we're coming into uh, a little bit of the rocky stuff that I remember. Still not too bad. If you're decent mountain biker this is not too big a challenge for you but uh, I'm just showing you what what this trail looks like I didn't get the narrow section back there there are really narrow uh, sections on this blue trail and you see here now going down this wouldn't be too bad uh, you know but coming up it would be another story still haven't gotten to the the rocky area but you see how this Blue Trail really, really winds and turns and, you know, lots of big roots uh, and a few rocks so far. I wanted to get a little bit of scenery on the on the video. Got a little tree right there. And then boom, look at this root. And the, look at what you got. By the way, a bike just passed me. I should have got the guy on the video. But check this out. This is some tough biking, man. I, you know, I, I don't know. And he was an older dude, too, man. I mean, I can't believe it. I, I don't know how the hell they do this. 
I know that even in my prime, this would have been a challenge. I, I think I could have done it, but uh, at least so far, I, there's, there's a section, I haven't come to it yet, that just, maybe I'm on a different trail, but it was, it was rocky as hell. But uh, you can see, I mean, there's a few rocks on here, but this is not that difficult a trail. You, if you're a decent mountain biker, I think you could do it. And now we're getting to what I think I remembered. Look at this. And that guy just rode through this, man. Look at this. Can you imagine? I mean, I can't even see. How the hell do you get up this? You know, it's 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 hard enough hiking it. I can't imagine riding a bike up this. So, you can see. Look at that. That guy, was he was booking along, too. I imagine it. Didn't, you know, going down, you could make it. But I don't see how you come up that. But he was going the other way, so... Anyway, well, I wanted to get this on the video. I mean, check this out. There's at least there's a bench here, but <laughs> it could use a bit of a, a bit of a cleaning, couldn't it? I tell you what, you, you, as long as you got uh, don't want your pants to, to get dirty, until nobody sat there for a while. But at least there's a bench if you wanted to take a break. So here we came to another intersection, and there's the green trail shorty, and. Uh, I should walk the green trail because <laughs> obviously I can't bike the blue trail. But the thing is, I'm not supposed to be out here, and I figure there'd be less bikes on the blue trail. We're going to continue on Dr. Ruth and uh, see more of this uh, this trail. Like I said, I haven't seen the area. Uh, that must not have been the trail that was so damn hard. I mean, that was bikeable, but I, I wouldn't want to do it. There's a little different look from uh, Dr. Ruth. Kind of just winding around through the... Uh, the foliage here it's uh, pretty cool well if you took a wrong turn <laughs> you could end up down in that hole right there but uh, you can kind of see how the trail's still winding around this is more like a green trail ever since that intersection with shorty uh, I mean it's it's a bit more difficult than a green trail but it's certainly you know certainly definitely doable at least this section for me anyway uh, well I I'd stick to the green trails with my broken neck, but I mean, still, it's uh, just showing you, I mean, it's, it's always good to have a, a variety, you know, you go through some hard spots and then get them, get them to easy. We got this tree leaning, I mean, look at that, you know, you're going to bike right through that. There you go. So just continuing along, more of the same here. Thought this was just a pretty view. Boy, I tell you, it's funny how life works sometimes. I, I was just dropping the dog off to my ex-wife, uh, it's her he's her dog you know so he and uh she just got back from europe and uh i'm gonna miss him he's in the videos of my burning uh, on my channel the burn but uh anyway so i was just gonna go for a little one mile hike <laughs> and, 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 you know just because i'm tired I, I took him out yesterday we we did a hell of a long hike at uh at baseline park if you're familiar with the area that's uh, i did the whole damn thing and uh, with, with the dog, no less, I had to push him in a carriage, which makes the hike even more strenuous. So today, here I am doing another big hike. Wasn't planning on it, wasn't planning on it. Well, I thought this was pretty cool. So we come to another intersection. You got Calbone going across, and a nice bench, man. Look at that, man, that is, that's awesome. And nice and clean, too. <laughs> Look at that, some idiot decided they're gonna scratch their stupid stuff in there what is why do people want to deface everything but look at this maybe they want you to rest up so that you got to take this because <laughs> we're continuing on dr ruth i don't know how far this dr ruth trail goes but we'll keep going still on dr ruth now look now this is rattle snake ridge very difficult <laughs> to me dr ruth's pretty damn hard maybe someday we'll come back and do that but we're going to stick with dr ruth just to finish it up but look at this we're coming up to something let's check this out i mean you can see that it just kind of opens up to a to an area let's see well the trail i think is going that way i'm not sure but isn't this cool this is really neat wow all right, I'm gonna swing back and get the other side of the trail. Yeah, it just swings, well, I guess you could ride around in here for a while. <laughs> I don't even know where the trail is. Good thing I was just kind of hiking around. So it comes in here and swings up this way. So I would have, uh, 
I would have been hiking around the wrong direction there for a while. Yeah, see, this is, this would be brutal. I don't know if I could do this. And then swinging up. So depending on which way you went, that'd be a tough, tough little ride coming up into this. And you can see we're still on Dr. Ruth. So I had to get this on the trail because the black trail is kind of winding around with the Dr. Ruth. But you do have another sitting bench right there. That's actually a pretty nice view. Look at the lizard on the bench. There he goes. So look, there's your view. I mean, in Florida, you don't really get these elevated views like this. So that'd be a nice place to hold up and, uh, and then have a snack, some water. I'll get another clip of more of what the trail's looking like. You know, see how it's winding around? Nice view right here, coming underneath the, uh, the palm. That's, that's the saw palmetto. And just kind of continuing on. I tell you, this one beautiful trail, if you can bike it, it is quite, quite a quite a fun would be a fun ride if you know how to mountain bike you know some back in the day when i could backpack that'd be a hell of a place to put a tent there goes a squirrel up the tree with that view looking out let's, let's walk up here i'll just show you this going off trail for just a second oh i think that's another bike trail yeah that's a that's a that black trail so no i guess you wouldn't want to put a bike <laughs> a tent there but it's just a cool view though Still on Dr. Ruth, check this out. Isn't this cool? A little bit of a rocky terrain here, kind of going into a different look. See these sharp turns? This is a really, really windy trail. So here we go, we're winding into a little different look with the foliage on the sides. Flattening out for a little bit of easy riding for just a few. All right, that's it for today's video. So that was Dr. Ruth. I'm going to hike back right here on Pine Tree and call it a day. But uh, I'm glad I got to show you that. And we'll come back and start doing some of these other bike trails. Maybe do a series of uh, bike trail hikes and, uh, you know, do, do each one. Looks like Pine Tree it probably keeps on going quite a long ways, I would imagine. But at least you got to see all of Dr. Ruth. On the way back from Dr. Ruth, I thought there's just a cool sight here on Pine Tree. Love it when these trees grow like that. Cool.